We've mentioned a lot that we want to do gardening videos and then just never quite get around to it. We gotta get through the weeding. We gotta figure out what we wanna plant. Honestly, we're still stuck on the weeding. Gardening's hard. It's a lot of work. But last week for the po' boy sandwich that we did, we needed Thai basil. And it's been a little challenging to find Thai basil because we're not really going out. We're not really going to grocery stores these days. We're mostly just ordering stuff online. I went online and I found some Thai basil and ordered it. And then a few weeks later, because this was not an overnight situation, a few weeks later, a big old package of an entire pound of Thai basil showed up at my door. And a pound of Thai basil is a good bit. Seeing as it was quite a bit more than I needed for the recipe, Sun decided we're gardening. So we decided to experiment a little bit and see if we could turn all of these stems of Thai basil into actual thriving plants. Step one, we split all of the Thai basil in two. Half of it went in the fridge because a lot of resources online tell you to put your herbs in a glass of water in the fridge, cover it with some plastic, and it should last a while, it should be good. The other half we put in glasses of water, but we left it out. We didn't cover it, we didn't anything. We just put it by a window so it could get some sunlight. Our first mistake was putting it in the fridge because that shit molded. It was not good. Don't do that. The Thai basil that we left out, however, was thriving. It was doing so well. We had cut all of the stems just a little bit below one of the nodes, which are those little bumps on the stem where you get leaves and sometimes flowers coming out of there. So we cut it just below, stuck it in the water. Half of the Thai basil that we put in glasses and left out were just in glasses with tap water. And the other half, we put them in bottled water, like literally just stuck them in the bottles. We wanted to see if there was a difference between normal tap water and filtered water see which one works better. You are starting to see there are a lot of experiments happening here. Within a week, we could tell that both were doing really well, but as you can kind of see here, the ones that are in just the tap water in the glasses are getting a lot more leaves. Like they are very, very lush. Whereas the ones in the bottled water, they have a lot of roots and they seem to be doing well that way, but then there's not a ton more happening up here. So now that we have Thai basil that is developing a ton of roots, it's time to plant. So for planting our Thai basil, we are once again experimenting with a few different methods to see just how it all turns out. Some of the Thai basil we are leaving as is in the glasses, in the bottles, kind of growing it in the hydro method to see if they will continue growing and flourish just like that, easy as can be. Some of the other Thai basil we are planting in dirt, some of it outside and some of it in pots. So for the basil that we are actually planting, we took it out of the glass and separated the roots really carefully because they did all get just mixed together. For both methods, both in the pot and in the ground, we put down some potting soil because the soil that we have outside is not the best. Like it's okay, mint doesn't even thrive out there. So we dug a hole, added in some potting mix, grabbed some pots, added in some potting mix, and very, very carefully put the individual stems of Thai basil in the hole or in the pots, and then covered them with more potting mix, very delicately. Like I'm trying not to squish anything, but enough so that they'll stay upright. Water them and our Thai basil is hopefully ready to grow. At first, none of the planted Thai basil was looking all that hot, but this one that we've got, the, we have two pots that we brought inside and it's been a few days since we planted them and they're looking pretty good. It's turning towards the sunlight. It seems fairly happy. It's not drooping. So we will be reporting back once our Thai basil grows a bit more, 
to let you know how it all turned out, how it's all looking, if the bottled water is still looking good, which one's thriving the most, if our mild California winters killed the ones outside. We'll see. Raccoons might have dug it up. Sun may have dug it up. Who knows around here? If you are not yet subbed to this channel, make sure to hit that sub button because we've got lots more cooking and maybe some gardening coming up. And let us know what you think of our very first gardening video and if you want some more. Should we just like start some random seeds and see how they go? And uh, if you could leave a little like, we always appreciate it. We will see you next time.